But just because somebody dies doesn't mean they were great. And we have a tendency to, when someone dies, to just, oh, we're only going to talk good things about that person. And, you know, in general, I don't think it's a bad thing, you know, to have good manners, to show just some respect in general for people passing. There are certain things that are inappropriate or appropriate given different times. And, you know, if you just had someone that you work with or some acquaintance that you knew and they were kind of a jerk and you didn't really like them that much and they died, it wouldn't necessarily be appropriate to go around and just start bad mouthing that person after they died. Just let it let it go. Let it be. But there's a difference between a person like that and someone who's just really evil and wicked. And just to give you an illustration, think about this. What did the world do when Saddam Hussein was killed? Everyone rejoiced, right? I mean, this is something that people can remember. This was in the 90s. Saddam Hussein died. Every, oh man, it's a party in the streets. You can see, here's this great, how about Osama bin Laden, right? Everybody was thrilled. So there's this sense that, that people just in general have. I mean, I'm not talking about Christians. I'm just talking about people in general have this sense of rejoicing when wicked people die. They do. I mean, it's, that's, that's a fact. But what's going what's gonna to be the problem in the sermon tonight is that I think a lot of people aren't going to agree with me about the man that just died that really was a wicked man and should not be mourned and lamented for his loss. But I would say rather rejoice in the fact that there's one less wicked reprobate person on this earth. And of course, I'm talking about George H.W. Bush. He just had his funeral today. And the media and the world's going to tell you, oh, we're going to honor this great president and, you know, and, and try to bestow honor upon honor upon this wicked man that was responsible for the death of thousands of people. Him personally was responsible as the one given the, the command to go and, and, and fight wars for greed. We'll get it.